of that habit. That'd be great. Um, one of the mantras we're having, actually the mantra that we're having this year will be work hard and be kind. So think about that as you go throughout today. Um, especially part of the be kind part today would be a great one. Um, when you get into the cafeteria, we'll have some um, general announcements just so you're kind of familiar with it again. Obviously, upperclassmen, 10th, 11th, and 12th graders, you're very familiar with it. But our new students and our 9th graders may not be. So we do want to help them out uh, throughout this morning. That's actually it for me today. Um, and uh, I just want to mention that we're going to have a couple of quick videos. Uh, and your first period teacher should be able to help you with that. Uh, we really want to make sure you understand how you use your portal so you have all that information in front of you whenever you need it throughout the school year. Thank you very much for bringing your Chromebook today. Have a great first day. Any questions, please see either a link crew person or any adult. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the marking period ends Friday. Make sure all of your work is in. Do I owe anything? Check the portal. Did I uh, make up all the work from when I was absent? Check the portal. Can you tell me my grade? Check the portal. Can you just look at the portal and tell me? Why can't you? I can't log in. Anybody else not able to get into the portal? We've got to fix this. Good morning, Warriors. Today we're going to talk about how you can log into the student portal for the first time this year. So please take a second to get that sheet out that your teacher should have passed out to you and just follow along for the first time with this video. After this video finishes, we'll have you do it on your own with your Chromebook. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to www.websterschools.org. Once you're in there, we're going to hover over the district page and then go down to parent and student portal. Once there, you are going to go to click the student portal directions. We will scroll down and use where it says click the link here. When you do this, you're going to go ahead and type in your student ID number. This is the number that you use to buy lunch with um, or buy, rent out a library book. Your password is the digits. You're going to follow along on how you create my password. The first initial, the last initial of your name, your two digit birth month, your two digit birthday, and your two digit birth year. So once we do that, we will go to type it in. And this password is only going to be a one time use password. When you type that in, you will get this prompt box. When you do that, type in your password you just typed in. And this will be the last time you use it. Now you're going to type in a new password. It's important that once you type in this new password, you save this somewhere. So you can save it in the content contact section of your phone or the notes section of your phone, but it's really important not to forget this password. Hit save. Okay, now it says new account security email. This is your email that you use to log into um, your school email. Please use your school e email. and you will type that in twice. And then again, enter that new password you just created. All right, 
Once you are there, you are all set to look at all of the things that you can. Your schedule is the most up to date here. Um, you can look at other things like your attendance and most importantly, your grades. I would look at this uh, once a week to make sure you are all up to date with any missing assignments. The other important thing is how do you access this? If you go to the top right of your browser, you'll see that star. And once you do that, I would click the star and add it to your bookmark bar so that it's very accessible. You'll see that in mine, I have this right here. This is my infant campus that I click on to check um, my infant campus weekly. Hi, everybody. Mr. Gomez here to quickly discuss a few changes to the Chromebook protocols uh, at the high schools. Number one. If you forget to bring your Chromebook to school, you will not be receiving a loaner Chromebook any longer. It is your responsibility to bring your device to school as you would a textbook or any other school supplies. Two, if you bring your Chromebook but it was not charged the night before, we cannot provide a loaner in that situation, but we can charge the device for you. Third, if you have any problems with your Chromebook, if it's broken or you have any issues with it, please bring it down. In that situation, you can still receive a loaner. We're happy to help resolve any problems that you have with your device if it is broken. Those are the three changes. Make sure you bring your Chromebook each day. Make sure it's charged. If you need anything, stop down to the WTI room. We'll be happy to help. Thanks. But I made it with you next to me. Around the world and back again. Hope you're waiting at the end But I can't do this alone Sometimes I just need a light If I call you on the phone Need you on the other side So when your tears fall down Your pillow like